at Stokes Speed Up. This is Mike Mazzell for Stokes Volkswagen on Ashley Phosphate. I just read a statistic today that worries me. Car shoppers are visiting fewer dealerships than ever. Charleston, don't make a car buying mistake before you agree to what... Mike Mazzell, you are the manager of Stokes Volkswagen. I mean, why can you not get it right? I can tell you this much, if I went into Stokes Volkswagen and the person did not know the maker of the vehicle and did not know how to pronounce it, I would not buy a vehicle from him. It's kind of like if someone keeps saying your last name wrong, you just start to feel insulted. I have got to go in there and say something. This is driving me crazy. Every morning I hear this and I've had enough. He needs to know that he is mispronouncing the word Volkswagen. You're going to love your experience at Stokes Volkswagen. I guarantee it. Come see us today at Stokes Volkswagen on Ashley Phosphate or StokesVDub.com. Peace and love at Stokes VDub. say the words right. Are you serious? No. I, I mean, we've been <laughs> trying for an hour straight now. He just can't say Volkswagen the right way. It's East Southern. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's Southern, exactly. You know, uh, I mean, it's even gotten to the point where we're getting some reviews from people that hear it on the radio. I mean, check you're this one out. You're kidding. You're joking. No. Like, look at this lady. She's, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, they're getting that upset about the way he says Volkswagen. Wow. Man, I know. Golly. All right. Is that her? Are you Jeff? Yeah, I am. You want to be talking to him on Facebook? <laughs> I actually am. What are you doing here Hi, today? Hi, I'm Brandy. <laughs> um, listen, once again, I'm driving down the road and I feel that ridiculous commercial where Mike Mazzell is mispronouncing the word Volkswagen. Oh. It's almost insulting. I mean, oh. like if you're going in for brain surgery and your neurologist comes in and says, we're going to work on your brain. You're like, no. Yes, ma'am. Very right. good point. Right. So I was just wondering if there's any way you can relay the message to him that he is mispronouncing it wrong. And numerous people that I at least know have even made comments themselves. He's got to know how to say the word in order to sell products. You got a good point. And we've actually been sitting here doing a radio ad this morning. Really? And this is really funny that you just happen to come in while we're sitting here doing this. Let me go talk to him real quick. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my son, my son, he knows a car like that. Right. He can tell you everything about him, every inch, every, I mean, just everything. It's amazing. It's just a good looking vehicle. Showed him a long time. Yep. They're Had good success with him. Well, see, I grew up you with. Know, I was shocked <laughs> with these cars. What, the Volkswagen? I was shocked. What do you mean? Damn, I still. I had never, oh, yeah. I had never, ever been excited about a car. I mean, even when I was a kid, my first job, real job, I mean, I cut grass. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I worked at National Car when I was washing cars. How do you say Volkswagen? <laughs> Volks. Volks? Yes. Um, my father was an avid, I mean, we had two Carmagias. We, had, we even had the, um, I thought they were rare, the Volkswagen pickups. And this thing was so dang cool and the neighborhood knew, knew it as the bread box. And all the kids would always want to go for a ride in it. And it took an act of Congress to get it running because when you, you would get it running, you didn't shut it off. <laughs> don't turn it off, whatever you do, don't turn it off. But um, we, we had two, um, two, a 68 and a 67 Volkswagen. And like I said, the car and is and, and, and the buses and everything. So when I would hear your commercial, I'd go, I'm saying it right. Well, how do I say it? <laughs> Forgive me. I said. Tell me how I say it. I said, Volkswagen. And I said, is he, say, is he trying to say Volkswagen? 
and then I, I'll hear because I listen to the radio station every morning and every single time there's a break it's all that's all it is is car commercials and I said you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write write a review and I wasn't I mean Chad came to tell you I wasn't like blah 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 but um I was just like it's it, he's not saying it right it just seems you know for people my my whole thing was is a, I was like well if I go somewhere and someone's not pronouncing something right I'm gonna leave but now that I'm sitting here getting to know you I absolutely adore you now I wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> So guess what? You can say it any way you want, but I just was like, you know, and I mean, I, my husband, I'm, he's, when Chad first, you know, notified me, I was like, get this. I'll tell you what, the next time I go cut the ad, I'll, you can go with. Can I? And you can help me say it. <laughs> oh, that would be outstanding. That would be that. great. You know, welcome to Stokes Volkswagen, you know. And, and then at first I was even taking into consideration, it's almost a tongue twister to say Stokes Volkswagen. You're like Stokes Volkswagen. So, so I, would, I would even say it at home like this weekend because Chad was like, work on some stuff this weekend. And I was like, Stokes Volkswagen. And I was trying to say it really fast. I was like, well, maybe that's what so the problem is. But, uh, but I was like, but there's an, he, I, you need to emphasize the L. You think maybe I'm saying it right in the rest of the world? I know wrong? that. I know that in your heart. <laughs> Your trident, like Chad said, that you are saying it correct. Oh. You are, but I mean, I, I mean, my kids will even laugh at me. You know, like, well, well, mom. You know, and they, of course, they got a big gigantic kick out of that. So I said, well, I'm gonna go. You know, and when he, you know, a little while ago, he's like, we're gonna, we're gonna talk to Mike, and I was like, oh my god, he's gonna hate me. He's gonna yell at me. He's gonna <laughs> tell me to get the hell off the lot. But um, no, we won't do that. no, but I just, I mean, certainly, I mean, Chad was even like, let's just make fun out of, you know, fun out of all this kind of thing. And I said, well, absolutely. I said, yeah, I'm not trying to. That's one of the first things I said. I was like, I am not trying to insult this well, my man. My radio reps here today. Oh yeah. So we're, I'm giving him what I'm going to do next Tuesday. Okay. So if you want to go next Tuesday, um, you can um, teach me how to say it properly. <laughs> teach you. <laughs> all right, let's go over this, Mike. <laughs> Let's go over this. Now when I hear it, I'm going to go, oh, he's such a sweetheart. Oh, let me call him. <laughs> so, but I, but he even said, he's like, well, it doesn't affect his sales. I said, it doesn't, I, I doubt yeah, it doesn't. Got it. I just, I, that's not even, I said, yeah. Volkswagens are, are really, you know, really cool cars. They are. You really don't see them around Monk's Corner. And, and I love I, the know, old ones. Like, everybody right now is trying to get rid of their 16 inventory. We only have two. Really? Yeah. We only have two 16s in stock. She wasn't married, I hugged her. <laughs> oh, you yeah, can yeah, hug yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> no. Great story. Awesome. Awesome. You know, right away, right when he sat down, I was like, oh, he's a cool guy. And my one thing when I talk to people is I'd always try to focus on something that we have in common. And bam, right away, he was like, I have a 15-year-old son and a 12-year-old daughter. I was like, I have a 15-year-old son and I have an 11-year-old daughter. So I just started discussing that. And actually just hearing him talk, I was like, that's just the way he says it. But I did say, I was like, you know, I'm, not, I'm certainly not trying to be condescending in any way. I was like, but... You're just saying it wrong. And he was, you know, well, how am I supposed to say it? How do I say it? And I was, you know, Volkswagen. And I was like, I had no no doubt that your sales are not, you know, through the roof. Volkswagens are pretty, pretty awesome cars. You know, I like them. Like I said, I grew up with them. So then he just, we just started talking about, you know, um, well, like you were there, like the pool hall and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So. Basically, he's a big teddy bear. He's a big teddy bear, and everybody there was really nice. And I'm actually, I'm actually glad I got to do this. And um, it's just one of those things where, you're like, well, I definitely, you know, realized that it's just the way he says it, you know. But to me, pronunciation is is key. But like I said, now I'm like, well, now that I think he's adorable, he can say it any way he wants. <laughs> And I said, now when I hear your commercial after getting to know you, I was like, I'm going to be like, oh, where's Mike Mazzell? <laughs> so, yeah. Tuesday, I've been asked to go into the radio station and teach him how to pronounce the word Volkswagen. So I'm really excited about that. And I think this is a really good positive outcome. So it's going to be great. All right, cut.